New exclusive Valentine's Day King just dropped. Sorry, there won't be any summons. This These bears dropped for me like 6 a.m. So I just told Speedy, which if you don't know, we share an account. I said, listen, can you summon? I, I don't want to summon. <laughs> I don't want to wake up at 6 a.m. for this guy. Um, but we'll just go hop in the showcase real quick. And I'll be explaining as we go. So this king has a very interesting passive. Very long as well. For every fairy ally participating in battle, increases the hero's attack related stats by 10% and damage dealt by 10%. For every applicable ally, increases their basic stats by 8%. And when he attacks a debuffed enemy, increases damage by 30%. Applicable allies are sins that aren't light or dark. I find that to be very interesting, but also unfortunate. Um... It's gonna be not very good for him not to be able to, you know, not attack, not use those light and dark sins. But so here's the plan. I want to first go full fairies. This is the only full fairy setup you can possibly use. I missed every crit. Okay, I guess that thirty percent attack really is that. Oh, never mind. Wait, I'm just thinking about this. Is it 30? I don't know. With these texts, right? So it's a, it reads, for every fairy ally participating in battle. When you read this, there's no way of knowing if he counts. Because some sometimes, right, for some characters, they themselves count, and for some they don't. For example, uh, Roxy. She doesn't count for her own passive, right? But, oh, that bleed was was tough. Unfortunately, Mally cleansed himself. Uh, let me check on his uh, peers here. Plus 40. He counts. Okay. I think. I think he counts. Let's do, let's go again. I think he counts for his own passive. Let's say, no, no, no. Damn it, I want to cleanse first. Uh, that's my... That's unfortunate. Uh, I was expecting more damage. What? Am I tripping? Damn it, I wanted to cleanse first. Or maybe put the. I should have put a blue card. Nah, just give Melly the attack buff again. Uh, okay. That attack card that I just did is weak point, right? So triple damage against debuffed enemies. Here's the weird thing about cards like weak point is that when you have damage increases, the way the card acts is very weird. So I think it, that's what's going on. Let me try this instead. How much damage does a poison card do? I mean, you already lost this, but... How much damage does the poison card do? Oh, it's a single target. Oh, I thought it was an AoE. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not giving up on the full fairies just yet. I might have to soon. You saw, I, I have Red Sauriel Link because I'm like, okay, King gives himself 30% crit chance, right? Yeah, 30% plus bonds 10. But I guess it's still only 117%, which is it just doesn't cut these days, right? Um... Okay, well, I wanted to use Glocks, right? I wanted to use Glocks, and now I know it was a mistake. I can't double attack. <laughs> you can't make a full fairy setup! There's no good Glocks, there's no other good fairy. God damn it, this guy actually... Uh, if he doesn't cleanse this, I actually would hit... Like, there, there would be such a crazy shock and poison. This guy... If he had come out after, like, a good Glaxinia or something, but, like, or, or like, that, that, but he's gonna cleanse. Like, we have the most meta character in the game, is called Meliodas, and he cleanses himself. So, having a debuff-based character like this guy, which, you know, he has the weak point card, whatever, but, realistically, he's a debuff-based character. His Holy Relic debuffs the enemy. And he wants the enemy to be... Okay, I'm, I'm giving up on the full fairies already. Like, 
It's just not gonna happen. Unfortunately, Glocks is way too shit. Like, me not being able to double attack is a problem. I'll be losing 10% attack related stats and damage increase, but I guess I'll rank up instead. So... Okay, I was gonna say... So, I think that that 8% doesn't apply to him. Like, that 8% that he gives for Sin allies doesn't apply to him, I don't think. I still have some resemblance of hope that he's gonna crit, so I have a... I still have the... the Sauriel link. Let's, um... do this right here. That's the weak point card. So the weak point... we've seen this with Monspeed. Weak point has a weird interaction with damage increases, where it only increases the initial damage, and not the full damage. So it increases the um, the extra amount, but not or like it increases the initial amount without increasing the extra amount. I, I, I don't know how to explain. I, I I had this point way better like when Mon Speed came out. Look, if you apply the thing, it's actually very strong. L let's let's do this right. We're gonna attack Seal Melee, and then debuff him with this. If you can actually debuff them, the damage that the debuff does is super strong. The problem is... Oh, how much... Wait, I didn't see damage. <laughs> what? He just died. <laughs> Did I miss it? I guess I missed it. I swear I didn't see him do damage. I just saw him just fall. Okay, that's... okay. I don't know, it's very weird. By the way... Now let me actually just do uh, this right here. Still want to keep... I, I, like, I think that the weak point card is really good. Oh, I, I, I'll, I don't know, I wasn't expecting that to kill the... Uh, the DN for whatever reason. The weak point card is good in a way, because if you hit everyone... Then you apply the, the bleed to everyone. But then, again, melee will cleanse. You're trying to at least attack them twice. You're trying to attack with a lane first or something. To apply the debuffs. So that king can do more damage. But then at the same time, it's like... I don't know. At the same time... The damage from the weak point card just isn't there, right? Also, by the way, tomorrow Gamer Subs is dropping probably my favorite design cup they've done in a while. I got this like yesterday, and I I, um, I just love the 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 cat girls. And um, if you want to cop it tomorrow, just use my code ten percent off. I never promote like my code because I'm very awkward about promoting sponsors, and people still buy them with uh, like daily. So thank you for everyone that uh, supports. I am very awkward about promoting sponsors. I feel very awkward about it, so I never do. I bring up gamer subs like once a month, and it's enough, so thank you. Okay. See, the bleed and like shock is gonna apply to Astorosin, and that's cool, but Chandler has cleanse, and she has cleanse. If I could stop the enemies from cleansing. Okay, in this situation, we're facing a bot. So Melly is not gonna cleanse himself, but he would have, right? He would have. That's a lot of damage. Like for me to get for free, it's a lot. Only problem is that um Only problem I can't disable. Damn it, that disable is rough. Yeah, I just lose. There's just nothing I can do. No! I ran out of time, so he did it for, it for me. Uh, if this was AoE, I would have been okay. Like, I would have just um, done it from Meliodas. And even if he kills me this turn, he would die next turn from the, uh, the poison and stuff. But it's not an AoE. I thought it was going to be an AoE when I first read it. I don't know why. 
I just forgot poison has a single target. That's the big problem. Like, th this unit... Th there are so many characters releasing right now that I'm like, man, if this character, right, released in an appropriate condition, it would be a really good character. The problem is, the, the, the big problem, the underlying issue is that we don't get enough characters. This game releases one character every two weeks, and it's not enough. Because then characters are half-baked into like their own meta. For example, right? For example, this character. If this character came out, right? But there was already a good Glocks, because, you know, maybe they would, would have not been releasing just one character every two weeks, and a good Glocks would have come out eventually, right? If there was a good Glocks, and... Uh, I don't think this kills, because I'm going to be double lord. And um, a good way of sealing all these cleanses. I mean, you can't really seal Milius' cleanse. Uh, at least now. But maybe th there will be a, a way in the future. Like a good way to deal with like the current teams. And not like such like a strict meta where demons are above everything and there's no second place. Right? Like the, the underlying issue is the lack of characters. If two characters released every two weeks, this wouldn't be as much of a problem, but the teams are so half-baked. Like, uh, let me continue talking after the next match. When a character like Freya comes out, and she's really strong, but her team just can't compete with the current meta, you feel bad, right? It's like, you, like I know she is strong, but I can't in good conscience tell people, listen, this character is good, go for it. No, I can't, right? Like, she is strong, but not enough because, because she's in a half-baked team. Like, the, the Ragnarok team is half-baked. Like, the, it's okay, it's usable, but it's really not all that good. She's really good, but the team she's in is not very good. And I think this is, like, this king as well. Like, this Elaine is the best character to run with him, but she's not very good. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. Um, God damn it. Uh, he's gonna cleanse. Let me go for this. Can I uh, wipe with this? They're all debuffed. Pretty good. I mean, if I can, I mean, any character wipes with level threes, right? I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say here and suck his dick because you got, you got a decent number with a level three card, but like, you know, I think this character could be good. He just doesn't have a team, like, like so many other characters coming out. It's the same thing that was with demons. Demons came out, and Estorosa was so goddamn strong, but. It was kind of half-baked still. Like, it was already usable because the team was so good. Like, because Estorosa was so good, it was already usable. But you could tell it was a little half-baked, right? Um, I'm saving the... No! It's fine. I want to save the rank up for uh, the single target. Okay. I want to do the single target on melee. Um... But, you know, with more and more characters coming out, now the demon team is, like, super OP. And because they had to release, you know, okay, this OP character is going to be for this team, and this OP character is going to be for this team. Unlike, you know, back in the day where they would release two characters. Let's say they release, like, back in the day, Green Askenor and Green Dien on the same banner, right? Two very powerful characters that did two completely different things. Um, instead of level 3, I think I'm just my level 1, level 2. Can I? I don't know if it will kill. I'm gonna trust that King will kill. This is a 225 multiplier, I think. Just, he's not gonna be debuffed. 
Damn it, I think I made a mistake. I think I should have leveled to read. It's just a cleanse. Okay, he did kill. He didn't have that much health, but... Ah, uh, cleanse is a big part of the current meta. You can't escape it, you know? And it's just like... It's just Meliodas. Meliodas is, is the meta, right? Every team is going to have Meliodas and he cleanses. Nothing you can do about it. I don't know. Another, I think this is another example of a character that would be super good if Namarble dropped him either on a pre-established team. Because he's not making a team. The way his passive works and everything like that, he would be better as someone that's being dropped on a pre-existing team than someone that's uh, making a team, right? For example, a character like Asterosa, he clearly is someone that's going to make a team, given his past and everything like that. A character like... Um, oh, of course he combined cards into the ultimate. Nice. A character like Merlin, uh, Green Festival Merlin, same thing. But like a character like Light Liz isn't going to make a team because, yeah, she can buff basic stats for the allies and stuff, but that's about it, right? Uh, I think, I think, I think uh, I explained that not so stupidly. Uh, yeah, this character is good. If they release a good Glox, a fairy from the, 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 the movie, um, good fairies, sure, but who knows if they're ever going to do that.